Welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Boring video today. We're going to do some wintry stuff and we're going to repair this gorilla cart and I'm just going to talk about what's going on in the winter. I'd love it if you join me. It's a boring day in the garden today. Not a whole lot going on, but we've got a freeze coming. I want to prepare for that freeze and I want to make some repairs on a gorilla cart. So really it's kind of like Seinfeld today. It's a, it's an episode about nothing. I've never used a frost blanket before. This one is designed mainly for trees. It has a little pull string that you can cover over your trees with, but I'm going to use it on my celery just because I don't want my celery getting, getting frozen. I put these stakes in here to help support the weight of the cloth and the rain that we're going to get. And I'll put some bricks down at the bottom. Yeah, it's big enough, I could probably cover my collard greens as well. So we'll take care of that also. That will at least ensure that the uh, celery is protected from the frost. That's the crop I most want to have come to fruition here in the garden. So we're going to cover it. I'm going to try to cover those collard greens too if I got enough of that cloth. Got to do that, man. I love my citrus trees. I love them a lot. One of the benefits of growing citrus trees or any kind of tree that doesn't handle freeze as well uh, in containers is that you can take them inside when the freeze comes. So it's been in and out, in and out this winter. I've had these trees in the house a few times now. Well, it's time to take them back in for a few days while this freeze passes through. Uh, this one's really heavy. It rained the other day. It's kind of wet. So I'm going to use a dolly cart. Last time I tried this, I, I dropped it and spilled mulch all in my living room so yeah smart working not hard working right let's get these in first of all I need a tarp keep the floor clean so much easier than carrying these things by hand leaves everywhere. Okay, my dill, you can see, it's prone to frost damage. So I'm going to harvest my dill, a lot of it, and I'm going to freeze it like I did last time we had a freeze. I'm going to freeze it so I can take advantage of this wonderful herb. So I'm going to cut this back significantly. Otherwise, it'll just freeze. It'll be no good. We're going to take a lot of these dill along with the stems and I'm just going to put them in a freezer bag and drop them in the freezer. So I want to leave enough of the plant where it doesn't get traumatized by such a heavy pruning. But I do want to get in here and get a harvest. All right, one more trim off of this guy. Not bad, huh? Look at all that dill. Now you could dry this, but I'm going to freeze it. Um, I just like it frozen. I've had this gorilla cart. Um, well, since I started my garden, I bought this cart so I could haul my blocks from the front into the back and to haul my soil. It has been sitting unprotected for now almost 10 years outside. And it's a, it's a really well built device. It's a wonderful cart. I'll never have a wheelbarrow again. Um, yeah, but it's all rusty on the bottom. I figure I'll get another five years out of it before uh, critical parts rust off. But uh, you got to change these wheels. When you buy a Gorilla Cart, generally they come with these pneumatic tires. you got to air them up. Um, th this is the weak spot if you store your cart outside. These are going to rust. The hub is going to rust in here. And it's going to lose its bead. And you're going to have a flat tire. And a flat tire defeats the entire purpose of, of the Gorilla Cart. Um, I've already replaced my front tires. I've replaced them with solid tires. So I'm going to replace these two back ones because they're kind of flat and they're not holding air anymore. 
want to keep this nut and that washer because that washer is very important to the design of this uh, axle here. So take the nut off and the washer and we'll set those by. The wheel just slides right on off. Remember keep that washer and so it doesn't want to come off so give it some persuasion. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> there we go. Now the reason this one didn't want to come off <clears throat> is the bearing that sits inside this housing is locked on right there to uh, the shaft because of this corrosion. So we're going to have to get that bearing off. We got it. There we go. The bearing pops off. You can see it's a all rusted up bearing. All those ball bearings in there are falling out like that. Yeah, it's a problem. All right, here is our problem. When I pulled the old tire off, the wheel bearing separated from, uh, well, it's separated, and so that we've got this bearing trace here on the on this rusty shaft. I've tried everything, I can't get it off. Uh, can't heat it up. People have suggested I use some uh, some flame on there, but this is plastic. That little bushing is plastic. If we flame it, we'll melt it. So we're going to cut it off, and that should take care of that. So this just slides right on, but we're gonna put a little bit of lube and rust inhibitor on there. Take care of that rust. There we go. There we go. There's a little slop in play in here, but this is nothing that, uh, these don't go at high revolution, so you don't really have to worry about that. You just want that nut tightened down. And that wheel's on. All right, we got a functional cart again. That's good. Yeah, I really needed that cart to be fixed. I have a lot of tasks that I've been missing out on um, because that, that wheel was bad. I had a couple bad wheels and uh, that really helps me. Um, got a lot of material to move. Um, having that cart would help me. If the freeze got really bad, I'd be able to cart some of my big heavy fig trees into the garage. And uh, just so I could be ready for a big heavy freeze, should it come, uh, I needed to get that done. So. Yeah, man, a gorilla cart or any kind of a garden cart, I'll never be without one. I don't even own a wheelbarrow anymore, and uh, yeah, I like it better. Might as well harvest some snow peas while I'm out here. These are delicious. I love them so much. Look at that. That's nice, huh? Dropped one. May no snow pea go to waste. Mmm. One of the joys of my winter garden are these snow peas. They're so delicious. Having a rough day, huh? You hobbling around a bit? You hobbling around? Oh, good dog. Let's go in. Why'd you go the hard way, huh? Come on, let's go in. Let's go. Come on, Phoebe. Good girl, you can do it. There you go. Get that gimpy leg up there. Phoebe is getting around a little bit. Uh, she generally comes outside and just sits in the garden with me. She's been walking around a bit today, which is kind of unusual. Normally, like I said, she just sits now. But uh, thank you so much again for all your love for Phoebe. Her surgery is scheduled for next week, and I'll be posting updates about that. But other than that, there's not a whole lot going on, so I thought I'd just work today and uh, give you guys a chance to come along and just, uh, well, enjoy some of these mundane tasks. Hey, thanks for joining us on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I hope you enjoy our channel, all of our content, and if, if you do, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you'll be notified when we post a video. Our schedule generally is one video per week in the off season when things aren't going real fast. Um, but uh, we post videos twice a week to three times a week during the spring growing season. 
and whenever there's stuff going on in the garden. But we'll take you around and show you what we do in our small backyard garden. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll talk to you next time. Happy gardening to you. Bye-bye.